Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be trying the latest products from L'Oreal Paris and this is the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and I have the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer which comes in this black tube and this one retails for I think $23 New Zealand because I bought it online so I will link the website where I got it from but basically L'Oreal came out with three different primers in their infallible line so we have the mattifying primer we have the luminizing and also the anti redness but I opted for mattifying primer to see how it will work with this Pro Glow foundation now this foundation was recently launched in New Zealand and Australia and unfortunately it only comes in six shades so if you wanted to order your shade that is darker or that matches your skin tone if you have medium to deep I suggest go to Amazon and it retails for $10 US whereas this one retails for $34 New Zealand which is very expensive for a drugstore foundation so this foundation has got built-in SPF of 15 it has a radiant finish and is hydrating and this is opted for normal to dry skin and at the back it says right here the um, information so you have the um, the finish is radiant and then you have that information right there which says it wears up to 24 hours coverage is medium and the texture is airy light the main ingredient for this one is the octinoxate sunscreen which i believe is the chemical sunscreen the shade that i'm using right now is going to be 208 which is the darkest shade that they have hopefully it matches my skin tone because looking at this it's kind of light and it comes off peachy against my skin so we'll see about that starting off with the primer it comes with a pump oh it's very liquidy it smells quite alcoholy it's very thin in texture it feels silky on the face and it has a little bit of silicone look to it it actually feels quite nice on, on my skin it's mattifying but it doesn't feel like it sucks out all the moisture off your face it has a little bit of slip to it while we wait for that to dry it says that it's an instant anti-shine action and oil control oil control to extend makeup wear it has a ultra lightweight formula and it says that you can even use it alone or under the foundation i really like the packaging it's very tiny very travel friendly it comes in a plastic tube and it has a pump and a lid and it dries a little bit tacky the foundation is somewhat runny but not too intensely runny and this color is definitely way lighter on my skin tone i'm not sure how this is going to translate but again this is the only darker shade available in new zealand and australia so what i'm going to do is dot that foundation all over my face it has a very faint alcohol scent to it so hopefully it's not going to irritate my skin and what i'm going to do is to spread that with a paddle brush and then blend it in with a beauty sponge coverage wise it's very light it does feel air airy onto the skin it feels like just the normal skin mind you i do have really oily skin so i'm curious to see how this will hold up because i read a few reviews about this foundation and they said that it works on oily skin as you can see the coverage is very light you can still see my scarring so what I'm going to do is to apply a little bit more and use my beauty sponge to see what it will look like the coverage is somewhat buildable but I feel like I need a little bit more so this is my third layer just around the cheek area because that's my main problem and blending it with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge it gives more luminosity to it i guess because of the water that's in the sponge so despite having to build it up it still feels very very lightweight to the skin though i could feel a little bit of grease i'm not sure if it's the sunscreen that is in the foundation or it's the primer this is what my skin looks like 
As you can see, it's very, very glowy, <laughs> very luminous. Ignore the fact that the foundation doesn't match on my skin tone because honestly, the color range sucks in New Zealand and Australia. So I really hope that they would truly add some more deeper shades. I quite like the finish that it gives. Even though I have oily skin, it's very natural. So I'm just going to quickly finish off my makeup off camera and we'll go by our day and I'll do some check-ins to see how the foundation wears or if it does live up to its claim of being long wearing. Hi beautiful, I'm back and the time right now is 11.05 a.m. So this is what my face looks like after putting on some setting powder and contour and blush. As you can see, I did not put any highlighter at all because this foundation is pro glow and it's said to have like a nice radiant finish and I could definitely see that. My pores is not accentuated. Everything looks so flawless. I'll definitely get out of the house looking like this. So we'll see what it will look like throughout the day. Hi beautiful, I'm back and the time now is 3.25 p.m. and I've worn this foundation for roughly four hours and I could already tell from the monitor and from the mirror that I'm getting shiny. Around the chin area, the cheek and the forehead is looking a little bit greasy but coverage wise it's still there. Everything is still there though I feel like the color oxidized a little bit now I look more on like the peachy slash pink side of the color. For four hours, I feel like this product held up for as long as it can. I think it has something to do with the mattifying primer as well, but I'm not mad at the coverage or I'm not even mad at what it looks like because usually on my normal days, around four to five hour mark that's when my foundation gets real oily maybe i'll blot with a beauty blender so if you compare this side to this side the sheen is definitely gone it looks pretty good this is where we at after blotting my face and i will try to push this foundation through, I will talk to you at the end of the night. The time right now is 9.11 p.m. and I've worn this foundation for about 10 hours in a bit. My face is looking a lot greasy. The foundation broke apart around this area right here. As you can see, the redness in, under my nose is peeking through. My chin area... The coverage is pretty much gone. Other than that, my cheek area is still intact. Nothing settled in my fine lines and nothing faded around this area. Usually, this is what my foundation looks like at around 8 hour mark. So I'm surprised that this foundation lasted for quite a long time, especially for a pro glow foundation. In terms of coverage and longevity, I feel like this foundation lasts for quite a long time just as long as my other matte foundations shade range is not the best in New Zealand so I highly suggest checking Amazon or order from a US based website to be able to get your shade but other than that this foundation is a 50 50 for me I mean I would wear this on an errand day but definitely not for work days or for days where I want my makeup to last and be matte all day long. As for the primer, it's relatively alright. Like it kept me matte in about three to four hour mark. But other than that it's just a normal primer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and leave a comment down below if you've tried this foundation, what your skin type is and how it worked out for you. I will catch you on the next video. Bye.